We're here with the head coach of the QBE Sydney Swans Academy, Paul Ruse. Paul, we had an under-15s trial game on Friday afternoon. How did that go? Yeah, look, it was really good. We've been working on the four, first month of training with the boys on their skills and a little bit of their decision making, so it was encouraging. We just played a touch football game and we had the flags that uh, the senior players use in their first trial match, so it means the boys don't have to tackle each other and we didn't want anyone to get hurt. But no, it was really, really encouraging. I think the boys had a great time and the other thing was we had a lot of parents there, a lot of the academy coaches come and helped out and coached the three teams. We broke it up into three teams, so it was a very, very successful evening. Fantastic. Tell us a little bit about the structure of the academy training and where these trial games fit into the general scheme of things. Yeah, look, our, our structure goes sort of four nights a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, at about seven venues throughout our zone. Uh, we've got two, three city ones, city... It's a Lakeside Oval, then we've got Marnie Oval, New, Uni of New South Wales, Macquarie Uni, and then we've got our regional centres in uh, Illawarra, Central Coast and Newcastle, so there's a fair bit happening during the week. And then Friday nights we'll rotate our 15s, 14s and 13s, you know, there'll be one game on every month, so it gives them a chance to play six or seven games a year against and with the best players in the zone. So it's really, really important part of our program and we hope they're all going to be playing club football on the weekend as well and they're also going to be training with their club team. So it's a great program we've now launched and it's been going for four or five weeks and the results already have been terrific. You've been particularly busy of late heading uh, to the regional areas to launch their academies. How did that go for you? Yeah, it was fantastic. The response in the regions have been great. We've got some really, really good venues, the Central Coast Academy of Sport, Newcastle Uni, University of Wollongong, and then uh, the Novotel, which is fantastic, up at Coffs Harbour. So the response there has been great. The parents have been fantastic taking their kids. I think they appreciate having one night at home, pretty much close to their area, and then they travel one, one day a week. But the response from the regional areas has been brilliant. How many kids have we got in the academy at the moment and how long until you expect to have your 720th kid through the academy? Well with the top end because a lot of those kids were scholarship boys so we haven't got as many in the 16 plus there's probably about 20 to, to sort of 25 in that area so eventually we'll have full capacity at 720 at the moment we've got about 410 we've got inductions coming up for nines tens 11 and 12 so from 11s and 12s that missed out on the last intake there's an opportunity to get in there nines and tens are obviously the next group of kids that are coming into our academy so everyone that gets along to those inductions in the nines and tens have got a really really positive chance of being involved in the academy so certainly over the next probably the next two years we'll really bolster it up to the numbers we, we expect of about 720 kids Right, and what's, uh, what lies ahead for the Academy over the next couple of weeks and months? Well, we've probably got another three weeks before school holidays and the boys have been going really hard two nights a week. They've also been doing a little bit, you know, summer sport too, basketball, you know, cricket or whatever they do. And they've also been practising really hard outside, which we've been really encouraging. So I think they're really looking forward to finishing off three weeks, which is pretty much our skill development program. Then they'll get into their club football and then we'll have a break for school holidays.